weight here that's on the crankshaft. So it's not on the connecting rod. It's on the crankshaft. And what happens is that the torsional vibration of the prop and not having a load like you would have a car. So when you're driving a car, you always have a load on the wheels. But in an airplane, you don't. If you pull off or hit throttle or whatever, you get you get torsion twist real bad in an engine and vibration that you cause problems. So they put these free floating weights in here to act like a like a dampener on the front end of an engine, like that. Normally on the front of an engine, you got a, a pulley dampener. It's kind of it's an this is an internal balancing system to be able to take a torsional load. And boy, that is just... And that's what I was concerned about. The main thing, I, once I started really looking in how I knew this thing was going to have problems all, all, all along the way, the big thing was going to be for me was this. I don't know. It's, um... It's got some wear and tear on her. There's some grind. For sure. I just don't know what the tolerances are, but sloppy drunk loose probably is not one of those tolerances. <laughs> she dead. She died. So let's look at this. So the wrist pin's in the middle, like right where it has been operating. No, oh, that's not working. Okay, there we go. Look at that twist in the wrist pin area. The camera's not really picking it up, but there's a bushing in the middle of the connecting rod, and in there is a bushing. And at a minimum, that bushing is shot. You're supposed to have maybe, almost where you can't even tell, almost where you can't even see it move. That's the limiting clearance. Like three thousandths of an inch. Everything at max is max is six thousandths of an inch, and we're in quarter inches. I'm, everybody else is gonna be sloppy drunk too. Fuck. Sorry, my language, people. The reason I said that I I did the price check on all this stuff. Do her up right. I'm looking at four grand. And that's not counting pulling the engine apart. That's doing all this upright. Now we're gonna do this part and there's gonna be a thousand dollars worth of crankshaft work. But better than my ass and the flipped over upside down from an ace inch medical takeoff when the thing gives it up. Wow. No bueno. Yeah, Mexican food sounds good tonight. Let's wrap this up. Call it a night. So now I gotta get Al out here as far as I can go and I'm showing what I've done. Spilling his guts when I was pulling him down. <clears throat> his os valve looks <clears throat> somewhat uniform, but I can't tell how many cycles it's been on. It's, but the valves look alright. 
so far. I think this is just, just do I see some home pattern? I still see some home pattern a little bit right there against a wall. A new, new connecting rod, a little bushing at a minimum, wrist pin, probably a piston, and then this just all cleaned up. Getting the cylinder head system given the treatment. So the rust around it that needs a treatment. That's mark number one. How about that? I marked it up in the cylinder head. Yep. Connie must have been sketchy. He knew that this thing was. Is this the original engine? And he just let it go to nothing. <clears throat> I mean, nothing. This is a, some in the field repair work that's turned into depot level maintenance. So see, see the number right there? That's 64. That's the year it was manufactured, September of 64. It's simple. I mean, it's not, it's not complex. It's just a matter of money. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a square root of money. But, I mean, that's on the joking side. But the reality is, you don't know what you got until you really tear it apart. Because this, I'll tell you, I'll tell everybody right now on here, this engine was running great. When I did the run up with Connie, we taxied around, no problemo. Engine ran like a champ compared to the. So, I mean, they both were running great. Both were running the same. Both did the run up the same. Did mag check. Both, no problem. Engine ran great. So this got to be eight. That's number eight about, oh shit. It's about to go. There has been at least eight. I'm going to have to document this when I get done. How many less than 50 hour I'm going to kill you we're in this engine not the airplane airplane and I we're good it's this engine it's this continental thing that we got issues with right now and we old girls got issues it's been this is 1964 I mean come on you've been sitting but overall, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. This needs... This is a project, and I enjoy doing the project. What the heck? What do I got better to do? Definitely want to chase women. That shit just gets you in trouble. <laughs> All right. Where there's one, there's another. But pulling these rods will be easy. That's no, that's not a problem. And the intent is, my intent before doing this was, like I say, to pull this engine in and do the, do this engine mount and, but was pull the, was hoping just to pull the rods and uh, put new rod bearings in and go from there. But she may need to go a little bit further. We'll see. All right, enough of this. Um, I hope everybody, pick something up that they they all enjoyed and i will talk with you later the red baron
the Red Baron needs your thoughts. <laughs> Not your prayers. Inanimate. But it could use your thoughts. All right. Ciao.